Good afternoon. Thank you um, for your offerings, past and present. Um, my first one is I'd really like to clean up my vibration around money. Two years ago when I saw you, um, I had a financial situation that I'm revisiting again. And I clearly get that I've matched myself with that. But it's not what I really desire. So um, I'd like to... And I do processes, and I'm much better at it than I was when I met you two years ago, because I was only a couple months into it. And yet, it, it's, I find it frightening. Well, since you're the only person in this room that has... <laughs> <laughs> any desire to improve your financial situation, <laughs> we'll have to ask all of them to endure for a little bit while we... <laughs> while we clean up some vibration here. Okay. It would be nice if we could just zap into your mind our knowledge of how much abundance is there for you. And if you could feel hopeful about it being there instead of disappointed that it hasn't been there, it start moving right away. Okay. In other words, it's, it's not a matter of winning the lottery or getting an inheritance or even landing a great job or finding education that leads you to better employment. It isn't about the activity. It's about letting yourself let in what you've been saying for a long time you want. The source has been hearing and lining up. It's such an odd thing for us to see your virtual bank accounts in relationship to your bank accounts. It's just odd that you have all of this leverage and all of this affluence and all of this abundance. And so many of you are just pinching it off by your determination to keep telling it like it is, telling it like it is, telling it like it is, telling it like it is. Like it is. And we know. In this world where you are surrounded with those that don't want you to put your head in the sand or be delusional, we know that telling it like it is has been highly regarded. But we're here to tell you, telling it like it is will hold it like it is forever, indefinitely. In other words, so you sat down and those are the words that are the most dominant in your vibration. What is is just so Loud, And that's because it's a simple reason you're letting most of your vibration be in response to what you're observing instead of what you are envisioning. In other words, you can think thoughts that will cause a different vibrational patterning or you can observe or you can think thoughts that will cause a similar vibrational patterning. But you do have control over the thoughts that you think. But you got to start new habits. You got to talk to different people. You got to talk about different things. You've got to start telling the story differently. We would recommend that as soon as you leave this gathering that you get a notebook and you be and you call it my life story and you begin writing Chapter one, my life story relative to abundance. And you just fabricate a fabulous fairy tale that is pleasing to you in some way. And you say, good, this is the new me. This is the new vibrational virtual me. And we promise you, if you'll tell that story for just a little while instead of the story that you've been telling, the universe doesn't know whether the story you're telling is the reality or not. The universe only knows that it's the, the, it's the vibration that's activated. And the vibration that is activated is the vibration that law of attraction is answering, you see. When you feel like there isn't enough of something and that discouragement is there to reflect that feeling, that vibration won't let anything else in. That's like setting your radio dial on a particular station and then complaining that you can't hear a different station. And anyone would say, well, turn the knob. And you say, I can't. And we say, it's not much harder to change your vibration than it is to change the knob on a radio tuner. It's not. It just requires a different determination. 
So we believe you when you say you want it. So we would like to hear from you. We would like you to begin. You know those commercials you sometimes see where you don't really think the product is as good as they're telling you it is. <laughs> Esther yeah. bought some fonts for her computer one time and they caused all kinds of glitches and problems with different programmers and the computer man came to help her and Esther got the package out and she said, look, right on the package it says really good fonts. <laughs> and he said, did you think they were going to say really crappy fonts? <laughs> and so sometimes what happens is there is this disconnect between what someone advertises and in the reality of it but still they keep selling it the way they want to sell it you see and in a sort of similar way you're wanting to sell it to the universe you are broadcasting a vibrational pronouncement from which the universe is to which the universe is going to respond so tell us your story <laughs> well we know you haven't practiced this story very much <laughs> Is the other story you've been practicing, but start this story now. Things always work out for me. Um, I have the luxury of doing what I want when I want and taking my children and family on vacation. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Now get to the money part. And I um, just ordered a brand new BMW X5 and had the pleasure of going in and paying for it cash. Something I've always wanted to do, and that has inspired me to redecorate my house, to um, have a contractor come in and a decorator, and just say, "I want this color, I want this, I want this, I want this," and just and my and my lawn, and my backyard, and um, to help a business that I run that's nonprofit to build their inventory and um, open that space for more people to come and play. And? <laughs> and um, my well, friends that so, are with me, so, so we're going on an Abraham cruise to Hawaii. <laughs> so as you're, as you're listening here, universe at large, are you believing this? Some of it. What part? What parts did you believe? BMW. They believed the BMW. Yeah. <laughs> the backyard. You believe the backyard? That's your backyard. <laughs> they want to know what your problem is that you keep running into. Um, I don't know. That's why I'm sitting here. Well, how, how is it manifesting? In other words. Oh, oh, the financial problem? Foreclosure. So that would be an easier story to tell, wouldn't it? Yes. Because it's, it's more activated. It's more alive. There's more details. There's more drama around it. You've practiced it more. It feels more alive. It's just easier to tell. Yes. So what we want you to feel from us and practice even beyond this interchange is telling a different story. Now, what trips any of you up from telling the story in a way that makes you feel better? What, what keeps you from doing that? Looking at what is looking at, looking at what is, but also feeling compelled to tell the truth, to, to not fabricate it, to, to be real about it. In other words, these are all things that you've practiced. So, so now let's take a different slant at it. So okay. here's where you are and where you are is where you are. Did you write that down? Yeah. <laughs> where you are is where you are and where you are is just fine. So, mm. so he here you are in this fresh new place today and you have the option of looking this way and telling that story of where you've been or turning this way and telling that story of where you're going. Now, is it a lie to tell the story of where you're going? No. Is it a lie to tell the story of where you've been? No. Because neither is quite 
quite the truth because you're you're here on your way there even though you've been there so where are you in other words which way are you leaning are you leaning this way or are you leaning that way many people who are unhappy with where they are even though where you are is where you are <laughs> many people are so unhappy about where they are that they try to bring all of this about what happened in to justify why they're here and all that does is hold them here longer where if you can stand here and turn this way and talk about what's over there mm. with no guilt about it because you're on your way to all of these wonderful things and as you start talking about what's out there and what it will feel like and what it will look like and what it will smell like and mostly what it will feel like what begins to happen in a very short period of time is you begin to actually move in that direction until the universe begins to respond to you as someone who's going there instead of someone who's been there. You see what we're getting at? Mm. So just play with it. You, we think you did a good job in your description, and we think the more you do it, the more <laughs> believable it will feel. If we were standing in any of your physical shoes, we would say whatever made us feel better. But sometimes when you talk about the manifested things that you want, that you've wanted for a while that you don't have, telling that story just sort of bums you out because it just reminds you that you've been doing it for a while and it hasn't been working. Where if you will stay away from those manifested material things and just start talking about how oh, I'm on my way to feelings of such freedom and I'm beginning to feel my power and it's really exciting to be at this age in life and knowing what I know. And I'm so excited about what will be out there ahead of me and I believe that my vibrational escrow is full of all kinds of wonderful things and it would be fun to watch them turn up in the way that they will. And I see evidence every day that the universe is working on my behalf and more and more I'm believing that I really am that blessed, worthy person that Abraham's been talking about and that things are getting better and better and I wouldn't for a moment want all of the things that I think I want to happen all at once I want them to come in a way that I can enjoy them and I want them to continue to expand and I believe what Abraham says that there will always be that gap that I will never get it done and so I'm happy with the progress I don't want it all at once I just want to be sure that I'm moving in the right direction and I can tell by the way I feel that I am moving in the right direction I I'm feeling lighter and freer and more optimistic and more hopeful and believing that things are going better. And I'm trusting that things will start manifesting around that. And if it doesn't happen all at once or even very quickly, it's all right because I've got plenty of time. And look at me. Aren't I a lucky one? Because here I am knowing what to do. And there isn't even a little part of me that doesn't know that I am not the creator of my own reality. I know that I am. I know that I create my own reality. And I know that I can tell by the way I feel which way I'm going and I can see how much good stuff has come to me already I'm really quite proud of how far I've come and I know I'm not ever going to stop wanting and so I think it's time for me to stop worrying about the parts that seem to be missing and start appreciating the parts that are there and there are so many of them let's see I could make a list right now of all of the things that are going very well in my life experience you see what we're getting at yes. just keep it general and keep it good feeling and keep it coming 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 and have these conversations in the privacy of your own mind when you're in the bathtub when you're in the bathroom when you're driving in your car don't express them to other people who do not know where you are and who do not know where you're going if you tell your future story to people who only know where you've been they'll try to get you to tell that story if you're telling the story of where you're going to people who have been with you while you've been in other places, they will start feeling strange about it and they will bring the discord to the forefront and then you will get defensive and then you'll end up going back the other direction. That's okay. why it is so valuable to just sort of keep your happiness to yourself <laughs> until law of attraction has surrounded you with others who are vibrational matches to your happiness. Okay. Thank Good. You. Thank you.